Uh, yes, Simon. I'll call you Smiley, like you said. Your name is Simon. What's your age? Are you married? Your occupation? Where you stay? And a little bit about yourself, just briefly. No, I'm not married. I'm waiting for the lady to come into my life that God has planned for me. Mm -hmm. I'm 44. I work in the library services in my town. Been there 21 years. You are a lay master. A lay master. I, but, well, God has a sense of humor. When I finished studying, got my matric from Pine Town Technical College, I then moved on and I came to this church in 94 and I never thought I'd study again and ever since then I've done the evangelism course, EE3 and then God said, no, I want you to continue. I then did the lay preachers course and said, no, uh, that's it, I've had enough. And God said, no, I want you now to become a youth leader and so I've been Wonderful. very busy. Thank you, Simon. Uh, and now this is this is subject as is on marriage today. So I'm just going to ask your views as a single man on marriage. Um, are, are people supposed to get married? God never intended us to be alone. He made Adam and Eve. So, so is it yes. tied to religion? No, it's not tied to religion at all. It's tied to. to it's God. basically your personal preference. Like you don't a, have to so, be married. No, you don't have to be married. You can Carry be happy single. But a lot of men and maybe women, feel that they need somebody to be with, to share their lives with, to have children with, to make a family. Um, so yes, that is why marriage was created, to be You still want to, you, you, as a single person, you want to still marry? I do, I do. So that's all for the last girls out there. Yes, okay. for the single pretty girls smile. out there. <laughs> Give me your best to show them all your Hello. Okay. Uh, a lot of people marry when they are young. They do. Is this the correct way? Or should a person wait until they're a little bit older where they've got more life experience before they marry? It really depends on the individual. I mean, if I've looked at my cousins and my family members who some have been divorced and married three times. Some have been in their early 20s and have got married. Some haven't even got married and got kids. It really depends on your personal situation, your personal ideas and beliefs and how you feel about it if you're a teenager experimenting for the first time and you have sex I wouldn't really recommend it but people do that because that's part of life and so but marriage is for those who really want to stay together who have a roof over their head who have a secure job and who know what their plans are for the future next 10 years or whatever and once you get married you have to realize that you take your partner with you and your children wherever you go. So you can't travel overseas while you're married. You can, but it's costly. So if you're still single and you want to enjoy life, do that first. Travel the world, go and enjoy being in a kibbutz or whatever you want to do. And then when you're ready to settle down and start a family, do it. Um, oh, thank you, Simon. Are people happily married today? It's just the front. Do they keep up a front for society? Is everybody happily married? No, there's no front at all. Basically, it's the individual. Some people get married when they're younger, and they get married too young, and so they don't really understand what marriage is. They feel it's just, for them, it's just something they want to do, and they want to see how it goes. And so, unless you're willing to put 100% into your marriage, you might grow apart, you might feel that he doesn't love me anymore, she doesn't love me anymore. There's also pornography out there which can affect your marriage if you get involved in it while you're married. That might affect your marriage. There are a whole lot of things to take into account when you get married. Okay, thank you, Simon. Uh, divorce. Do you believe in divorce? If people aren't married, they should divorce? If they're not happily married, should they divorce? Or should I they live together till the day they die unhappily just because of the sake of what we, what we believe is the sanctity of marriage? God has said that there's only two reasons for divorce. That is adultery and there was another reason. Offhand, I death. can't remember. Okay, Your death. Died. Yeah, yeah. death. Thank you. But this day and age, people can get divorced for any reason. No, I would not say that's the right thing to do. Uh, it's your personal choice. So you would stay 
unhappily married with your partner for the rest of your life, just purely to, 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 to keep within the, the confines of, of, of God. I would do my best to find the partner that I would be happy. No one is going to be totally happy. Okay. You've got to work on your marriage. You've got to work to be happy. When you first start dating, it's all rose-tinted glasses, happiness. How's it? I love you. Oh, look at that lovely smile. <laughs> but when you've been married a long time, uh, like a lot of people, yes. you wake up with the person next to you and their hair is all all over the place, their makeup, they may not wear makeup, they might not dress the way that you want them to dress. They may man, The man might leave the toilet seat up instead of down. Those things are part of marriage that you have to understand come with marriage. You've got to work on these things. And when you meet the in-laws for the first time, how that person treats their parents is how you are going to be treated for the rest of your life. Good. Thank you very much for that. Um, I suppose midlife crisis for men and women happens at a certain age where they finally realize that maybe the partner wasn't for them. And that's where a lot of divorces happen. Am I correct in saying that? I wouldn't really say it's midlife crisis. I would say it's like I said earlier, you grow apart. So what is the midlife crisis? Basically the midlife crisis is you get to a certain age and you think to yourself, is that how old I am? But I want to drive a Ferrari still. I want to go and skate. Are you at that stage? Not yet. Not yet. So you're happy with that. But is no, that, yeah, is that yeah. what you would say? Midlife crisis is trying to find your youth again. You realize yes, you're getting yes, old and yes. you're going to die one day. Yes. It usually happens between 40 and 50 yes. people that yes. they realize that they... Hey, okay. So that's midlife crisis. And yeah. not, not with their marriage, really. No. Uh, can a person be in love with two, pe with two or more people at the same time? Yes, they can, as long as it's not in marriage. So, please explain that. What I'm saying is, can you be in love with another person of the opposite sex, plus your wife at the same time? That would be a dangerous thing. because Can it, can it happen? I'm sure it does happen. Because if you look at the world today, a lot of people, I'm not going to mention names, but mm. many presidents, many other religions say that you can have more than one wife. But God made it so that Adam and Eve were together. He didn't create more than one woman for Adam and he didn't create more than one man for Eve because he knew that together they would be happy. They have their ups and downs, but that's how it was created. Is it, is it better to be single? And I know you can be and you said it's okay. Is it, is it better to be single than to be married? There are many I mean, for you, good I know you're reasons. a single person, yes. but I mean, how do you feel about it? There are many, like I said earlier, if you wanted to travel to go and visit family overseas, in a way it's better to be single because it's, A, it's less costly, you don't have to take a lot of money with you, you don't have to pay extra for your, uh, your girlfriend or your wife or the children. So yes, there are times when it is better to be single, but there are times when you really need to be married. Certain things that happen in marriage while you're single, you cannot do, or you shouldn't do. Fantastic. Your thoughts on adultery? Obviously you mentioned it before, taboo. My thoughts basically on adultery is why have you married that person if you love somebody else? But that can happen. That obviously. does happen, yes. I mean, you can't but say now that no, it's no, going to happen. No. Maybe it no, happens no, no. in 10 years. Yeah, it does happen. But what I advise is if you really are, if you really love that person when you start dating them and you marry them, then you wouldn't start looking around for anybody else. Do you believe that people change in marriage? They grow apart. They changed. But they weren't the same person they were 10 years ago. Now they've become another person. And that could be a reason for, for, for them separating. That can actually happen. And then, you're, obviously, you well, how will your views be on that? Divorce or just live in that marriage? It really depends on how bad the situation is. I mean, if the husband's beating a wife and the kids, I wouldn't stay there. Then they can divorce. Then they can divorce, divorce yes. Okay. Tell me, uh, why you're single. I am. Is it difficult to find the right partner to marry? I mean, do we all have a soulmate, or is this something that uh, comes with age? Maybe older people, when you're older, you marry better because you're more wiser. When you're young, you're not as clever, so you just marry for lust and sex. And when you get older, it becomes other things. That's why you pick better partners. I know it's a lot of questions, but I'm asking you, how do you feel? The main reason I'm single is I had to go through a lot of 
trials in my life, and stages where if I was married it wouldn't have been a good idea. But yes, there are lots of things that could stop someone from marrying. I mean, I've had friends who stayed single until the day they died. They wanted to get married, but it wasn't in God's plan for their life to get married. They were happy. But then would you class that as a lonely life? No, I wouldn't class it as a lonely life because you have friends around you, you have your family around you, and if you're involved in the church, you have your church friends around you. So no, it's not a lonely life. Uh, and in terms of sex, I know I'm speaking about sex, so I'll interview you later on sex, but sex within marriage, you believe that sex must be inside marriage? God created it to be inside marriage, not outside of marriage, for many reasons. So what you're saying is that if you're going to be single, and that's how it's planned, you will never have had sex in your entire life? Yes. Is that healthy? Is that, uh, is that something that people want? I wouldn't personally know that. I'm, I'm Yourself? Happy. Your personal? Myself. Personally, I'm very happy with the way things are. And I'm, I'm, you can see I'm healthy. Do you want to be married? I do. So you do want to be married and yes, have sex and do. have kids yes, or and whatever. Yes. And what stopped you is you just haven't found the right person. Like I said earlier, I've, there's a lot of things that I've had to go through that got traveling overseas. Mm. And I went through a stage where I was addicted to pornography, which I knew if I brought into a marriage would be not the best thing because that would make, I wouldn't know how my wife or my girlfriend would feel. And when you're addicted to pornography, you put women down, you don't pull them up. Uh, good point. Uh, well said. Thank you. Um, are there any other thoughts on the subject of marriage for the viewers? Just basically, if you're going to get married, go and see how that person treats their parents. Don't just marry them after a short period. Date them for up to a year or more, or however you feel led. And if you're going to get married, stay married. All right, brilliant. Thank you. Uh, just hit the red button there.